Her Excellency, the Governor of New South Wales, Professor Murray Bashir, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the 2012 Belcanto Awards. My name is Stuart Maunder and it's my very, very great pleasure to be here this afternoon to be your host. Now, the Joan Sutherland Richard Bonning Belcanto Award has been established in memory of the late Dame Joan Sutherland. This award is to honour both Dame Joan and Maestro Richard Bonning's extraordinary legacy to the operatic world. Uh, and their commitment to helping young singers. With an emphasis on bel canto singing, this award is open to all Australian and New Zealand professional and non-professional opera singers aged 20 to 30 years. The total prize pool for the awards is $40,000, making it one of the most generous awards in the world. The first prize, the Joan Sutherland and Richard Bonning Bel Canto Award, is worth $25,000, and in addition, the winner will be accepted into the Georg Schulte Academy in Italy for 2013. E torto, e fine, astuto, ogni malizia di leggi e codici, conosce sa, matteggiatore, beffeggiatore, c'è da fare una beffa nuova e rara, e Gianni Schicchi che la prepara. Gli occhi furbi gli illuminan di riso lo strano viso, Ombreggiato da quel suo gran nasone che pare un toracchione per così. Viendo il contato, ebbene, che vuol dire? Basta con queste obbie, crete vicine. Ah, che scelte, naso crepisce. Thank <laughs> you. 
ciel, ne brevi stanti, prima che il mio presagio in terra no, sull'arma corsa ancora mi stingesse. Schiuso era l'uscio, e la maggior deserta, e dove ora sarà quel angio? Star la fiamma di costanti affetti, colei si pure al cui modesto sguardo, quasi spinto a virtù talor mi credo. Our finalists for this afternoon, Roberto Abate, Tabitha McFadgen, Emma Moore. Darren Penapate, Naomi Johns, and Stacey Alone. Well, what a banquet of glorious music we've had this afternoon. Maestro Richard Bonning, great Australian. Miss Sherilyn Kamali, extraordinaire accompanist, is she not? And certainly, the participants in this afternoon's wondrous feast of music. As I've already said, as we stood outside, no matter who wins, we have certainly six quite superb operatic stars within our midst this afternoon. And may they go on to the careers that they deserve, reaching the heights of excellence, but also I deem it a great privilege to be able to say on behalf of all of you, and may I say on behalf of everyone in this state and Australia, that we are indebted to ev forevermore to Richard Bonning and of course his beloved wife, beloved by us all, Dame Joan Sutherland, for the way they brought music into the lives of so many Australians and the heights of excellence which they encouraged around the world and which Richard continues to this day. So Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Your Excellency, for those very kind words. And thank you for all your support for the foundation. We, you know, it's, very, it's hard work trying to find who are the best young singers and to, to try to develop them. I hate having to judge because, you know, wh whoever I pick, somebody else is going to disagree with me. and. Uh, so, you know, you forgive me if I choose the wrong ones. Um, <laughs> it's been a lovely afternoon. I hope you've had as nice a time as I have. I hear all these wonderful arias sung very seriously and, and a lot of them very, very well indeed. And it's given me a lot of pleasure to see all these young people taking music really seriously. And I have a feeling you won't be surprised at the winner. And I, I think m a lot of you may ag even agree with me today. And that is for a wonderful, wonderful performance of the flower song from Carmen from Darren Penepate. Woo!